Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back. This is Ragnarok here with episode number six of my Cold War Saga Thrones of Britannia Wind la falter. Let's Play. Last time, we defeated our brother in the battle. You can tell. Rushed his army, actually, and we took our small village, uh, fishing village here, fishing slash mining village. The double um, slot minor settlements. Right, I don't know. That was so difficult for me to say. But anyway, alright, so Anarut is going to come down this way. I don't Never. think our ally has enough room to... What is this guy's name? Eo, Eo Chad? Yeah, alright. Uh, public order is still going to be a bit of an issue until we get this food situation under control. Uh, we've just got too many Let troops presently, beware. but I don't really want to disband Glory any awaits, troups, and really would like to get more in the field to be perfectly honest, but... Ah, uh, so, okay, yeah. Well, we have fallen into the red now. Um, just wondering if it would be better to... We're getting minus four public order now. Minus twenty-five punishment. We bump up the taxes. Still get the minus four. Alright, okay, we'll just leave the taxes at the same level. How many turns for There's two turns before this is ready. It's 32. Guess we could disband a few units. We will serve you well. So we last thing we want is more rebellions. Level up our general. Five percent. All of this stuff is really good. Um, well, I mean, Forager, Quartermaster, and Champion. I, I like all of those. Even the Bard, kind of good with the fame. But I, I guess you only get 10 points, so you got to be really, really careful with where, where you put your points. His command has been going up because we've been getting these, these traits, which is good as well. But I think we'll go with Forager just to get a little bit of extra food production. So it's only going to be three more. Quicker unit replenishment is always good. I think we'll go Forager one more time. I'll help a Awaiting little bit with orders. the food situation. But... We are Arthur's folk. True of heart. Ready to serve. Just thinking if we should disband some of these units and then just re recruit another army here when we. We have time, just leave with one full stack. It should actually replenish pretty quick sitting in the settlement. I think that's what we're gonna do. Just a matter of which units we want to keep. These armored axemen are pretty good. We don't have not fully replenished though. We definitely want to keep these. Actually. Alright, let's put him up there first. My warriors will not fall. And I think what we'll do is we'll just merge these guys. Expand this one. That opens up two slots. These we're gonna keep for sure. Probably the Welsh axemen rid of. My men are the best. Wanna keep the cab. I 
I'm thinking we should keep these armored axemen. And disband everybody else. Definitely want to keep the swords. Do it like that. For the glory this of is the down Tauri. to 54. Command us. I think we're going to disband all of these units. For the time being. So it gets us down to 14. And next turn. Next turn we'll recruit a general there and start, uh, start recruiting. Because the recruitment pool. We've got a few units in the recruitment pool. Be able to start the beginnings of force there. Just we need to get this food situation more under control. And this army looks looks you know it's coming around. A lot of spears in there, but the spears are good to hold the line. These valley spearmen aren't bad, and the, the swords are okay too. The axes and the archers are excellent. So the calf support. So it's a Decent, well-rounded army, I think, and we're starting to gain a little bit of experience. So we will serve you well. he's going to come down here and take this, and then we'll raise an army here. Actually, maybe. no, we'll wait till next turn to do that. Just because of the situation. Hopefully, we can get through this turn without any more any more rebellions. Royal Spears. Every man will do his duty. Very nice. But expensive. Melee skill 47, though. That's not bad at all. Armor 30. That's, that's solid. Wow, that's really solid. Armor 22. 30 for these guys. Alright, cool, cool. Take a look at this. Just quickly. Alright, so I think what... I'm kind of thinking for for sort of our plan to sort out this mess. I mean, Mercia is almost defeated. We, we need to get down here and defeat... take these two settlements so we'll probably come by sea possibly it should be a little bit quicker to come by sea and then we're gonna raise an army here and have him come down and sort out this rebellion potentially but uh, well, we'll probably have rebellions through these provinces but we'll start raising an army here uh, just to protect this province and we can start investing in this province and then we'll start investing in this province and We'll send Anarut down this way and possibly take all of this territory down here. Uh, we're going to try and ally with these guys. We've already got a declaration of friendship with them. And we could get declaration of friendship with these guys. But I, I think we'll come down here and take this territory and then move into here so that we link up with the rest of our, our provinces over here. But I... It's hard to say how long we'll be able to hold on to that those territories, but I don't know. I think things are looking relatively good here. So let's actually move on through the end turn. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and ramble on and on and on. So, Right, so back to the Dark Ages. So, As the year AD 410 came to an end, one of these provinces, the island of Britain. The mist drew back behind the last departing Roman galley. The ancient land was once again turned to its previous masters, the Celts. Indeed, this fierce and independent people had never been truly subjugated, and many areas of Britain had remained free of Roman influence, creating a crisscross of opposing factions across the entire island. So I think 410 AD, that's Roughly around the time of uh, Total War of Tilla, uh, which is pretty cool. And, uh, well, obviously 410 AD, sort of the fall of the Western Roman Empire, or, or the beginning of the fall of the Western Roman Empire. 
Though I mean, it's I, I don't know. I guess that point could be you know argued when the uh, Western Roman Empire began to fall. So, are you kidding me? They've got an other army over here already. No. Okay, it's just the one general. I really hope this guy is not going to block us from... We should be okay. Yeah, we're just going to occupy. This guy. Oh, it's just their new king. And I don't know why... Oh, I guess they must have recruited him here. It's kind of an odd... Ooh, we've almost got it under control continue oh so if it's damaged we're not getting full production from the that's very interesting All right so I think we will repair this action and let's get this going as well oh actually Story Hall plus 10 fame plus 3% camping range. Four or six. Uh, maybe we'll go with the bard for public order. So we can use the public order here right now. Uh, buildings minus 4, events minus 1. Characters to be back to three and protection. Yeah, I definitely want to get public order under control. I think we're going to go with the story hall. Church. It's just fame as well, but it's expensive. A lot of interesting stuff here. Plus 10% campaign movement rate. Is that just within the province, or is that. A state, we still don't have access to it. Yeah, I think we'll go with I just want to see. Alright, yeah. Anyway, let's go with Story Hall. As soon as we get this food situation under control, we're going to raise another army here. We will serve you well. Okay, so this can increase as well. Two out of seven. And we've got one of the Royal Spearmen available. Should probably recruit that right away. These guys are at full strength. Uh, it's okay. We'll, we'll recruit it over here with this army, I guess. Eager for action. Oh, I mind having Anna Roots army? Never. I don't think there's too much to do here. Let's just double check that we've got. Whoa, so I think this is because of the just picked up another estate. So estates here. He's got three estates. This has an estate. So. Let's give this estate to
can see which one of these guys is going to fall into the best. That's the question. It's just gonna be this guy. With everything. Everything balanced again. Oh, it's eight. Fine. Guy still has. Than us. Alright. Raise an army here uh, once we get food under control. I don't My really want to raise the taxes because I don't want to cause more public order problems. We currently already have. For the glory of the This way. We're gonna come to this way. Alright. We are come by sea next turn. Get our diplomacy going. I don't. I, I think we want to take their territory, so I think I we're going to, to your proposition. This declaration of friendship with them. Good. These guys. Interior. We will talk now. We will talk now. After much time. I will listen to your propositions. After much time. Sit. Have some ale. Tell me why This is not the... Alright. Whatever. Another end turn. See what happens. Right, so, nor was this withdrawal of legions all that sudden. As the historian Nora Chadwick remarked in her book Celtic Realms, Roman occupation of Britain can be best described to a great flood, uh, or best likened to a great flood tide, and the close came as the tide recedes, not by a sudden event, not by a series of sudden events, but by a gradual process, as the ebb tide leaves the shore. Thus, in AD 407, Constantine, the governor of the province, had been persuaded somewhat against his will by the remaining legions in Britain to assume the title of emperor and to lead an ill-fated exodus to Gaul. There, he perished in a battle against overwhelming forces, though his name was remembered in Britain, and we shall meet him again different guys later on in this book. From this point onward, as the Byzantine historian Procupus later declared, the Romans were never able to reconquer Britain, which continued to be governed by tyrants. Alright, we got another, another rebellion, and I... Uh, it's exactly where we don't want the rebellion. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to raise that arm. Governor's leveled up. Personal loyal I am going to give him a boost just to be on the safe side. So the rebellion. Take a look. By no right means. there. Yeah. So we need an army to go over here and stamp out these rebellions. Should actually build this up a little bit. I'm gonna go with the food first. Raise a force here. One of 
is yeah, public order. Yeah, let's go with this guy. This is good that we've got lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of characters available. This guy. We will serve you well. Up in there. Start getting some troops. Start with these for now. Pick up the more elite tro troops next turn. Oh, that's gonna give us food problems again. We will serve you well. Sir, we're going to come down here and take settlement. I will move in here and take this one as well. And then we can consider moving on this guy. It's what size force. No what size force there. Never. This guy no. could be a little bit of a concern. Just a single army. Maybe we'll just boot. Single general here to go with this guy. Yeah, go with this guy. Every man will do Just want him duty. here. No chance. Bend against this guy. The event that we need My to. warriors will not falter. Potentially pick up another unit as well. Never. We are Arthur's folk. He's needed. But we, yeah, we can't lose Take these territories the again. All right. Everybody is loyal. Sort of. Guys, three. Visit fulfilled both our hopes. Pack is salt, eh? So salt. Salt, salt. All right, whatever. Wonder how high we have to get this before they'll actually do a military treaty. Ah, these guys we don't. You will get a fair hearing. leave it for now another end turn so. however nearly five centuries of roman occupation brought enormous changes across the country especially in the south and west where the greatest concentration of roman power had been cited the original network of native roads had been extended and improved allowing greater freedom of travel and a wider system of commerce the old scattering of tribal center centers have been partially replaced by towns and cities, largely self-governing after the manner of other Roman provinces. In addition, many of the legionaries who had served in Britain chose to remain behind, having fallen in love with the soft hills and deep woodlands of the landscape. Some had married native women and fathered families. Others had been granted tracts of land as payment for their military servants, now scraped a living as farmers. Even some of the leading families the native tribes have, had adopted Roman ways and were occasionally more Roman than their masters. A determined Romano-British aristocracy clung to its centers of power and tried to weld the tattered remnants of the Roman province into what it had, want, it had once been. Action destroyed. Alright. You, sir, keep moving down here. Try and get this battle in for the end of the episode. I guess we'll we'll just go a little bit longer than half the turn. Fight a siege out here, and this guy is falling back this way, we will which is we might as well follow him because if he, I'm just wondering if he takes this from them, 
then we could potentially scoop it up at some point. Let's get this fishing village built up. Let's try and get food. Yeah. Go with the fishing. Let's so get food. Um, this guy is leveled up. Let's give him forager. Just to get these guys replenished quicker and give us a little bit of extra food. Impossible. Yeah. I I know we're losing territory to rebels here and stuff, but I'm not too concerned about it. Just the, these main settlements will start expanding. I mean, we basically defeated Mercia. Just got this little tiny tract of land here. Uh, just a matter of finishing them off. But uh, yeah, we just need to end this. Armies in own territory. Border Wars minus 78. War forward equilibrium. Treaties. Yeah, well, once we end this war, um, it should help our war fervor a little bit. Ah, oh, son of a death. bitch. Taking attrition, eh? It's not good. Just when we finally got we them almost to full strength. I'm not too worried about this, our, our situation here. Just keep investing in our home provinces. Well, our home province and in Chester as well. Should be okay. Let's check this make sure good. Alright, so tyrants and saviors. Opposing this last vestige of Roman influence were a number of tribal leaders, the tyrants mentioned by Procubus. Petty kings ruling over a hundred acres of land, raiding across the borders of their neighbors as they had done before the coming of legions. Each one saw himself as a potential high king, wielding supreme power in the land and receiving fealty from lesser lords. Some of their names have survived amid the broken literal of those dark days. Conomawis, Vorderprex, Cradlamas, and a greedy and ambitious man whose name has come down to us as a Vortiger, though that name may, not, may be nothing more than title meaning lord. Really? Now uh, we're gonna back off, even though pretty even odds here. Retreat, man! Just because I, I was hoping he would go for the settlement, but having won many of the tribal leaders to his cause, promising that the legacy of Rome would be purged forever from the earth of Britain. By A.D. 425, he had declared himself High King over all Britain. Clearly, no lover of things ro Roman, Vortigern saw to it that by A.D. 450, most of the last vestiges of the old imperial system of government had almost completely broken down, leaving Britain in a confused and shaky state. Alright, action destroyed. Blackmail. Pay him off. Fortunately. No chance. This guy. For the glory um, the why wouldn't you come down here? I should not. I shouldn't have followed him. I guess. Anyway. You can't. We will serve come back you to well. here. So he can reach you there. Every man will do his gonna have teaching. to. Crude an archer, and then between him and the archer, no chance. Yeah, no chance exactly. <laughs> I'll have no chance. Just let this guy falter. continue replenishing. Size forces the valley down here. Impossible. Uh, they are growing slowly. And it looks like these guys are going to come down there and crush them. Anyway, let's do this siege and end the episode. Holy sweet mother, the garrison is a little bit more stout than I was expecting. 
Night attack does nothing. All right. This is going to be very interesting. Sword to those. It's a creepy. Or put to the sword. Sorry. Hmm, yeah, I... I'm not sure about this. Simply because... I don't have any siege equipment here. Probably would have been better to siege them out. We're turning some siege equipment in. Just try our... Uh, sneaky maneuver from last time. Well, we may be able to do something similar here. Out of troop. Must have built some kind of garrison or something. Alright, so... is right here. It's tough. And this is going... These watchtowers we should be able to burn down, though. Alright kind of coming up with a plan, sort of. Alright. And the swords. Bows. Here. These guys are going to be a deep boy. Then going to So what I'm thinking is we're going to attack this gate, but we're going to need the archers to burn down these towers. Actually, leave should bring a bit of spears over here as well, just as a blocker for the. For the archers, we, we're going to need the archers to burn down the towers. Basically. Anyway. Damn, I should have taken a closer look at the settlement. Alright. The enemy yeah. tremble before our superior they all numbers. stand there. That's absolutely perfect. There, two, four, five, seven, eight. Got at least eight units there. So we might be able to get in here and take this and hold it with these troops. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. First things first, we need to burn down the towers. Burn down this tower and then that tower because I believe it just barely covers. Let's cover the gate. Yeah. True Britons forever. Cool. We need to burn down all four of these towers one by one. And then we can attack the gate and just move for the town center. And we should be able to hold it with enough time to uh, start the timer, basically. Rather than send everyone into their deaths. Let's get. Uh, let's get. Move in over this one. Not everyone. We need to work together to Let's just speed it up while these guys wait.
this house out here. I don't see any peasants out in the road. I'm pretty sure they put peasants in here, but I haven't seen them. I haven't noticed them. Birds flying around. This tower should be okay. This one, this one's. At least this is is a settlement where we can actually burn the towers down rather than the uh, one of the Roman settlements where the towers are made out of stone. Or swords. It's the spears. All right, slow it down. Up the pace, spearmen. Swords. Guys, stay in the woods and hopefully they forget about them. These guys seem content to sit there for now. Guys, show us the Right up there. Get him into shield wall as quickly as possible. Oh, guys a flaming shot. Levy, man. Well, holding spacebar slows down the uh yeah. go 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 go. The enemy approaches. What? I don't see them approaching anywhere. And a few casualties on the spears, but these guys are more or less expendable. Two more volleys should do it. Maybe we should have brought two spears over the here for this. The enemy's tower has All been right, destroyed. Down. These guys have uh, 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 got a little bit of movement over there. But it doesn't look like they're coming over this way. Combat what in the blast. hell are you guys doing? Aim. Fire. We'll do in their day. Yeah. Over here. Double time, man. The rest of them. Archers. Stay behind fucking spears. I don't know why they wandered over that way. Mark your targets. On 106. 
taking shots on this guy. Watch your command. Pick those feet up. Up the pace. Archers. The hell is wrong with you guys? Why would you set up a spear wall like that? Turn around. It's because of this. Set one more volley. What are you guys doing? Here, well, all right, bowmen, anyway, guys, well, idiots, missiles, it's fine. Fire. Aim. The enemy's one more tower, tower to go. Been destroyed. Or actually, sorry, two more. Oh, this one is actually it's not really necessary that we should be able to attack it without just out of the range. But if we come around this way, we'll be. Probably really one of our units has used this ammunition. Are you fucking kidding me? Damn it to hell. Sort of ammo. Tell me you guys have enough ammo to burn this thing down. This actually. Just in case, we need to go throw some torches. Be able to burn it down with this guy. Who needs thrashing? Who needs light? Spearmen. We are the company. Get bored now. Let's trash those walls. A little bit of movement over there, but they're not coming this way. Not yet, anyway. Seem to be moving around. How are we doing here? Casualties. Yeah, this unit basically gonna sacrifice him for this battle. We maybe we'll we'll replace him with what the one of the royal spearmen. But I think I am gonna send him to take down that. That tower as well. All right, archers, you guys. No longer needed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Took down just the two towers, really. Come on, bro. These guys brought lots of torches. I want you to come over here and burn this one down too. Who needs thrashing? Send the swords. As soon as this goes down to uh, attack the gatehouse. And still not moving. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Uh, it's starting to waver. Fuck it, just come back. You're not going to be able to take it down. Alright, let's go for the gatehouse. Yeah, it should be able to reach us there. Let's go to war. Pick those feet up. Let's go to war. I mean, we might as well try and save these few units. We can absorb them into one of the other units of spears. Double time, man. So I'm just trying to keep them for now. I think these three swords with the cavalry should be plenty to to take the town center more than likely it's just the general there so one two three four five six seven eight units there can't remember how many units exactly they had should pay better attention to that sort of stuff but oh well what can you do i don't know 
can't be more than two or three, so these are are more elite units, so they should be able to handle whatever's over here. Send the swords in this way, and then come around with the cavalry in behind. Shouldn't be under fire from this guy. Cavalry will take a little bit of damage, probably coming through here. Should be should be very minimal though. Right. Guess we could speed this up a little bit. These guys still are not moving. They're just running back and forth there. It's perfect. Stuff. All right, let's go for the town center, and let's get the cab in here. So. Let's go, boys. Let's take the settlement. Yeah. Just hang out. Should need it for this. What do we got here? It's like just general's bodyguard does a big bodyguard still not moving we have captured the gates now we're talking guys come around this way who needs thrashing our Let's general is under attack missiles. who needs thrashing kick your mouth Alright, here we go. Ready and willing. Charge in. Shit, they went right through them. I think we broke them. Alright, we need to take this now. It's still there. Oh, it shattered, yeah. Alright, let's just take this... This, uh, town center. And these guys... They're just gonna stay there. Just... Fucking perfect. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> definitely seems like a pretty good strategy uh, to take settlements uh, or to take the walled settlements against the AI. Uh, I guess it's a little bit of an exploit, but oh well. You can use this to take settlements without uh, taking any casualties. Fuck, why not? It should start the timer. Right, yeah, and they're still not coming over this way. So. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna take this with very minimal casualties here. We crush that general bodyguard. Although this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode, almost an hour long, so I apologize for that, guys, but I think it's worth it. Get in here and take this settlement. And we'll be down to one now, which we should be able to take next episode as well, so. Alright, the there we go. Us. Victory is ours. Very nice. Alright, yeah, we lost 115. We're up against 1500. Oh. 
Uh, most of it, uh, most of that 115 was spears there. But yeah. Crush their general's bodyguard. He got two kills out of that, so it's probably two of the swords. Alright, sweet. Sacking is kind of uh, tempting. 100, but I'm just gonna occupy. Alright, good stuff. Probably repair them. Yeah, it's gonna be very cheap to repair them. Anyway, guys, things are slowly, slowly being sorted out here. Go for this one next. Uh, it's just really unfortunate that Powis took these settlements, but hoping he comes back and maybe takes them. He was. Nice, that's exactly what you do. But anyway, um, episode 7 is next. We'll continue here and we'll continue moving moving this way and go for this settlement next. And yeah. Just continue uh, our conquest here. I think things are starting to get a little bit more unstable ground. We're off to kind of a rocky start there. Things were looking a little bit rocky for a little while, but I think we've got things under well in hand now, and I've kind of got a grip on how to uh, how to attack the enemy anyway. But um, it's going to take me a little while to figure out how to get our provinces managed properly. But I think that will come a lot easier once we end some of these wars. All right, uh, have a great day, guys. Uh, this is uh, Ragnarok saying goodbye.